Hi, welcome to this demonstration for the installation of Daily Pivots Pro on the 64-bit operating system running Windows 7. So we have uh, MT5 running here. I'm running an Alpari demo account and I've just got a straightforward vanilla version of the system. I have nothing in my custom indicators folder as you can see apart from just the straightforward standard stuff which comes directly from the broker. So first things first, let's close MT5 and on your original installation email you'll get um, something which looks a bit like this and you can see here it confirms your current licensing data, it gives you the option to change that and you can see your reference number and ID here. Here's your ID and your reference is going to be underneath here and obviously any accounts which you supplied at time of purchase will be encoded for you or obviously you can encode your own using the special licensing page which is available to all customers and essentially th those two pieces of data are very important so make sure you look at those um, before you do anything so once you have read through all that stuff, looked at the installation guide further down in this, this email you'll be given installation links to your to a URL basically which contains a zip folder when you download that and then unpack it or unzip it you'll be um, you can see uh, a setup file um, which runs the installer so when you actually run the installer it'll look like this you'll get a welcome screen saying welcome to the FXAgo Trader Daily Pivots Pro MT5 X64 installation setup so click next read through the licensing agreement accept those conditions if you're happy to and then browse to your root folder where your broker basically um, has the MT5 file system in Windows 7 on 64-bit machines so 64-bit operating systems basically the brokers install straight into C program files so you don't need to worry about any of the kind of roaming directories which are talked about on the web on the 64-bit environments it goes straight into the C program files so navigate to your C program files folder open it up scroll through until you can find the name of your broker so mine is called Alpari and that is the root folder that's basically the top just click OK when you click next uh, you may get a warning if you haven't installed in this location before saying are you sure you want to overwrite this or install into this location as it already exists say yes that's fine so just click yes if you see a warning there now click install and we're getting a warning here saying um, we've got some newer Visual C++ redistributables on our machine that's fine don't worry about that just if, you, if you've got newer distributables that's great just click close now click finish Okay, now what we do is we go back into our MT5 account. And if we look in our navigator folder down here, you can see that we now can see a Daily Pivots Pro MT5 X64 indicator, which has been picked up um, when MT5 reloaded. We've got our, still got our uh, cable chart here, our hourly cable chart, so all we do now is just click our indicator and drag it onto our chart. Now click the Allow DLL Import button in Dependencies. Scroll through to Inputs. Go to the Reference parameter here. Enter your unique reference number. And now enter your ID. And if you haven't run the system before, a Java interface pops up, which is basically the start of the um, license verification process. This is really simple. All we've got to do is enter the root folder again. So we just go back to our local disk C drive assuming you have everything installed on your C drive go to program files double click that go to Alpari or where, whatever your broker is called mine is called Alpari NZ MT5 click open confirms the path here click OK and basically the indicator pops up on your chart and if we just go down to the, the terminal window by pressing Control T, you can see down here it's just giving us a bit of information 
about the GMT times, local times, time current, etc. So that's installation done. So just a, just a, a very quick intro. Once you've got the indicator loaded on your chart, you can simply move it around and get it roughly where you want it by clicking the move button. And when you click move, a blue pl um, plus um, label comes up here. And if you select that, just click it and hold the mouse down and drag it over to where you want it to be displayed. And on the next tick, the interface will basically move over to that location. And if you're happy with that location, just click move again and then that little movement option will disappear. If you want to then display the daily pivots on this daily ch on this hourly chart, just go to Viz H1 and select it. And basically as soon as we get a tick, you can now see the daily pivots are displayed. So we can control all sorts of things in terms of visibility. We've got obviously price proximity alerts, uh, all that kind of good stuff and pivot shift and, and all that sort of stuff which is explained in other videos. But that's the installation done. A couple of minor details. If you're running this on multiple accounts, you need to reset the MT4 path um, each time you you changed accounts. So, for example, if you you know if you've got another account with a different broker and you're and you're running Daily Pivots Pro, just before you you can either do it from this account or you can do it from your from your new account. In the scripts, there is a, a little script called FXA Path Update. And if you click that, it'll basically delete the path data so that when you next load the indicator on a new platform, it'll just simply ask you for the for the new path data um, when um, when you load the system up. The same Java interface will pop up. So that's it, basically. Um, pretty easy to do. Um, if you follow the guide, you shouldn't have any problems. Thanks for watching.